said on the broadcast the other night that um, this bout of COVID hit you really hard. How did your body feel out there? How is the reconditioning process for you? Uh, first, praise my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, I felt felt better uh, than I was uh, the last week. It, uh, it definitely hit me harder than I did. I had it last year. Um, it was tough trying to get my win back uh, when I first worked out the other day, but it was I was I was okay shortly after. I felt really good tonight. Uh, just after the first quarter, just getting on getting the win win back, and I was good after that. This is kind of a weird one to try to figure out where you feel like you guys lost the game. Ah, yeah, that's tough. Uh, I feel like they picked up their intensity in the second quarter. Uh, second quarter, second and third, that's when they, they really picked up their intensity. Uh, I think they started the third quarter, they went small, started switching one through five. Um, that's kind of given us a little problems in the past. Uh, I'll say that transition between second and third quarters, we really kind of we lost it a little bit. They went on big runs, uh, definitely a big run in the third. Uh, but. They were just resilient, you know, they played hard. Uh, that's always been their, the narrative behind them. You know, they, they compete up 30, down 30, no matter what it is. Uh, and that's what they did tonight. What made SGA so tough out there? Uh, he's been doing it all year, it's not just us. You know, he's, he's been kicking everybody's ass. Um, you know, he's, a, he's very crafty, you know, he probably doesn't blow you away with his speed, but his, his change of pace, his ability to be able to cross over, his handles are tight. Uh, and ultimately, man, we, you're confident in yourself and you're playing at the lowest. He, he don't think anybody can guard him, you know? And he, he really he really has that mindset and he attacks everybody. Uh, but we should have start following his ass a little more, put him on the ground, and did something to offer him. But, you know, he, he got the best of us. Yeah. Despite the loss, the, the offense did seem to carry over to this game. What, what have you thought about you know, the last four games before this in particular, before your return, and, and how the ball's been moving? Uh, I mean, it's been good. I think it's just a matter of us just constantly continuing to do so, um, keeping a point five mentality with the ball, you know, uh, making quick, um, assertive decisions, not letting it stick too much, and, uh, and just be confident in everything we do. And I think the biggest thing is we're making shots. You know, we're, uh, we're getting in the pain. We were always a team that, you know, was penetrating, getting in the pain. We, we were always, you know, able to get two feet in the, in, in the restricted and kick out the threes and shots. We just weren't knocking them down. But see, over the last four, we've been shooting with more confidence, knocking them down. The spacing's been better. Um, you know, I think that's something that coach has been emphasizing. While I was out, too, you know, we have to be better spacing-wise, um, player movement. Everything like that. So we just got to keep keep it up, but we got to focus on our defense again. It's been, it's been killing us. Brad, take me through that last play. What did you see out there? Uh, Shay? Shit. <laughs> Shay's play or my play? Shay's play. Shay was, I mean, it was a one for a flat. It was, uh, we were switching one through five before and after the ball. And, uh, I mean, he, he made a tough shot. I mean, we, I don't, know. I don't know. I mean, it was, it was just a good look. It was a great look for him. He shot it with confidence, and I'm standing under the hoop, like, damn, watching it go in. Um, but, you know, SGA is a hell of a player. He's been playing his ass off all year. He got us tonight. Greg, when a team switches one through five like that, how does the offense need to adjust and attack that defense? Uh, we gotta be better making attacking those switches. Uh, you know, whether sometimes a guy was you can see it, like SGA does it a little bit, you know, if he has a primary defender guarding him, he'll call up a screen for another guy and it's really tough to catch that drive. It's really tough to catch him on his drives and I think that's something we can be better at is attacking attacking our guys more on switches. Uh, and then hitting the roll guy. Sometimes the roll is open. Um, on our slips and um, on our screens, you know, it's, it's a lot of stuff we can be better at and do better. We screen better, guards can screen better, bigs can screen better. Um, guards can set up their man better, you know, so bigs can get guys open. And uh, you just got to be more, the ball has to hop a little bit more, you know, and then sometimes you got to be able to go by your guy. You got to be able to have a little one-on-one -on -one game and get in the paint and see if you can finish and kick it out for the shots, break down defense. Did I hear you correctly that you're, one of the many things you said is that you have to try to find the best possible 
mismatch and then attack it? Uh, not necessarily. I mean, there are moments in which we do that, for sure, and, and it works, but you don't want to do that the entire game. You want to keep, keep energy in the ball, keep energy in players and everybody. Um, and we try to do that. You know, obviously there's going to be a specific time where we do that maybe down a stretch or uh, somebody's in foul trouble where we really know that somebody can't guard. We'll, we'll really make a point of emphasis to keep him in action, but uh, we, we have to be a team where that ball moves and pops and uh, we're making quicker, decide, more decisive decisions. Sometimes it's, it involves screening. Like Lou Dort, Lou Dort's a guy who's gonna lean on my body and blow up screens, you know, so we have to hit him. But everybody else, you can probably slip and get out, cause some confusion, and we'll be better at it. Not really good. So there's a band where you had him stop SJ on the end and got off um, Lou on the other one. Did you think you had the game in, in hand there? <laughs> yeah, I did. That's the worst one. It's crazy. That's happened to me a couple of times in my career. That is, that is very frustrating. But uh, I mean, you tip your hat off to the other team and make they make tough plays, tough shots. Just like I made one session before, and uh, that's all you can do, man. It's, you just can't harp on it. Just move on. We got another tough one on Friday. Uh, but you give give credit where it's due. Right. I think you played all twelve minutes of the fourth quarter. Just how'd you feel, legs wise? I feel good. I feel like I haven't done that in a minute. Uh, but I feel really good. That's good flow, good pace, good energy. Um, and ultimately, my win felt good, so that's what I was, I was most happy about. You started off the game really well, middle two quarters. Did they do something different to take you away? No, I think it was it was kind of how the flow of the game was just going. You know, I'm always going to be aggressive when necessary and, and take what the defense gives us. And it was us more or less trying to figure out what was more beneficial for us because in the first half, ball was moving, players were moving, and they were guarding us totally different. They had bigs and they were rotating bigs. Second half, they had all guards and their bigs. Rarely seen the floor, you know, so that was that was different. You know, I think sometimes we get a little stagnant. We get a little slower in times when they're, they're switching one through five, and uh, we just got to be a little more quick and decisive and attack more. But. That's yeah, so on me too. I can be more aggressive and look to attack more in those quarters. Hey, Brent, I know I'm close to you and Goody. Uh, um, are you away just watching him have his, his recent taste with him? How proud of him you were? Oh, man, that's super proud, man. Good is, he's a tremendous guy, man. It, it makes me beyond proud to see his journey, uh, being a part of his life since he was 14, 15 years old. Um, maybe even younger, and just to see him transition to where he is now, a grown man, dad, um, playing in the NBA, like, who knew this would happen, you know? Um, now he's getting an opportunity to play, he's getting an opportunity to showcase what he can do, and taking full advantage of it, you know, so I can't be more proud of him. I'm always tough on him, I'm always pushing him to continue to be better, continue to not be complacent. Uh, you know, earn your name, earn your way here, because uh, it's it's an opportunity given to you. And he's, I'm proud of him, man. I'm beyond proud. Of him, for sure. This is only game 15, but in the grand scheme of things, how tough was this loss for you guys? Mm, yeah, tough one. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't have dropped it, just like we did. You know, the Indiana game, the first Philly game. Especially at home, it stings. You know, it stings real bad. Um, that. It's NBA, you know, one day you win a game like that and then the other day you lose. So, could we done things better? For sure, you know, but it is what it is and we gotta, we gotta live with this result. And in a couple of days we have another opportunity. Your team had a 67 point first half and then in the third quarter, the team was limited to 20 points. What changed offensively? In the third quarter? Correct. Uh, it was them putting the pressure on us. We didn't really know how to react and what to run and kind of got a little stagnant. Uh, we were trying to get this switch for Brad, but you know, Dort was doing a good job fighting through it and made it really tough for us. Um, so I think, yeah, for us, now um, it's because we're, 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 you know, we're hard to stop once we get going like that in the first half. That was their only chance. They put five smaller guys on us and switch everything and be real physical and into us and, and that's what we got to figure out how to play effective and you know in that, those kind of situations where 
you know, they're, they're, they're up. And we have to use those, you know, flash passes and, and back cuts and, and pick them apart that way. So I think that's going to be something that, that, you know, this game is good for us in, in the sense that we, we, we're going to learn how to play against that type of pressure that we had, you know, early in that second half. 20 points for you in the first half. What did they do specifically against you in the second half? Uh, the same thing, switching, not giving any threes, anything open. Um, that's, you know, that's an adjustment. I should have probably been better also with low side screening, rolling to the basket, and then taking advantage of the mismatch. But, you know, again, it's that balance where I want to open up the lane for Brad to drive and not clog it up and try to post up. Um, so it's it's on us to find that chemistry uh, when Brad wants everybody out and drive, or we take advantage of the of the mismatch in the post and, and throw it inside to me, and then I make the next play. So, but yeah, it's day by day, and we're, we're going to get better. And this one stings real bad, but it's it's I think it's necessary for us to get to the next level. Still, for you, uh, 25 plus points in three straight games. It's been a few years since you've done that. What can you say about just the way you're scoring right now? Maybe compared to some of your other better stretches throughout your career. Yeah, um, I'm shooting the ball well from three. That's a big part of it. Um, found a few things that worked for me offensively and, and stuck to it and have a pretty good routine going. And my teammates are fighting me. You know, that's the main thing. I, I, I'm not a point guard, you know, I don't bring the ball up, so I'm. I, I live off of my teammates. I live off of you know Tay, Brad making plays for me. Cruz was great making plays for us. Um, so yeah, my teammates and, and 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 me just knocking down shots and, and being aggressive when I need to be aggressive. KB, you're not the um, first guy to mention having trouble with the switches. Is it what specifically are you guys having trouble with? It seems to have been a season long thing. Is it identifying what the next action needs to be, or where does the trouble come up? No, it's like they, it's once they switch. Uh, like, what do we do from there? Do, you know, like, we need to figure out, like, okay, Brad wants to attack this guy, or you want to put me in the post against this guy and get that mismatch, you know, get that matchup. That's what we need to do. Um, and maybe maybe third quarter is too early to start, you know, just looking for those isolation plays, but, but then we got to have, like, those... Um, some of the flash plays that we already have run those to like a high level, you know, and, and they denying Brad, boom, I get open, I flash, play through me, you know, that backdoor cut for Brad, things like that. Just more movement, more thrust, and less like fighting and screen, and now they switch and we get nothing. So I would say a bit of that. That's why I'm, I'm thinking that this, you know, this, that second half is going to work for us well. To look at the film and see, okay, in this situation when they're doing this, we want to get to this quick and move this way. Kind of put the put put, put like a play style for us, you know, in, in those kind of situations. KP, you talked about your routine. Did you change when you're warming up before games after the groin injury? Yeah, I'm uh, not you know pregame shooting anymore. I do it in the morning. And yeah, I think yeah, because I do most of my warm up like right before the game, before I go out, I come out late always. Um, and that's when I really just lock in my shot. It's been working for me, so I'm gonna keep doing that. What gave you that idea? Uh, I actually did not, um, like in Europe, we don't shoot, you know, we don't shoot like at 60 or anything like that. Um, so in New York, I think for a couple of years, I didn't do it. I did it as a rookie, of course, you know, but uh, I didn't like it, but then I kind of went back to it and. And now I'm kind of back to that that way, and there's obviously I always try to evolve and do things differently, and and the way I've been moving, the way I've been you know feeling on the court, uh, it's you know how I want to be feeling, and so I'm sticking to the things that are working for me right now, and I think that's another thing that I added that is working for me better than just getting you know like sh those shots out when you're still cold, and you know it's, that wasn't really working for me that well, so. I get a good warm up in and then come out right before the game, just get my touch um, feeling good, and, and that's it. What do you think of Gilgis Alexander after facing him tonight? Yeah, he's a he's a he's a dangerous player. He's a he's a hard guy to stop. You know, I don't know if it's his body type or what it is, but the way he can like slide by guys and spin and you know get to the rim, is, he's so talented. And it was hard to stop him tonight. You know, it took had to be a team effort tried, but he still made some big plays. I think some of those calls that he got late in the game, 
or you know you could argue those calls but but at the end you know we we, we couldn't stop him and uh and yeah uh, hats off to him you know he he, he did that um so he's he's the he's the he's the motor for that without without him you know that game would have been close but he did the job and and, and got the win at the end hit that big three cool. uh so you you're talking about the switches um are you guys a team that would rather play against those switches, get those matchups, or would you rather just kind of play within the flow of your offense and more or less ignore those? Uh, it depends on what the coaching staff sees. You know, we trust we trust we trust them to make that uh, to make those you know um, decisions for us out there. You know, we're just playing and playing instinctively. Um, so yeah, I think it's going to be it's going to be us. Looking at the film with the coaches, coaches are going to figure out ways how we can be more effective and, and play against those those kind of high pressure you know situations.